Now we'll move on to the snapshot capabilities. The snapshot functionality, they are created instantaneously. All you're really doing is just setting a marker for a read consistent view of the file system. The snapshot is maintained using a copy on write algorithm. So whenever a file extent in the live copy of the file system is changed, the pre-update version gets copied into the snapshot, which means its size is variable. The snapshot will get bigger depending on the amount of changes done to the live copy of the data. Snapshots by default are read-only, but they can be writable, and that opens up a very interesting range of possibilities for their use. What can you use them for? Backup is an obvious purpose. Note that if you're using ACFS for your Oracle database storage, you'll want to put the database into backup mode, then create the snapshots, take the database out of backup mode, and then use whatever utility you please to copy the consistent version of the database from the snapshot. If it's a writable snapshot, though, there are some more interesting possibilities. For a writable snapshot, you've got a copy of the database that you can open. You can open it read-write. This means you can use the snapshot copy for testing and development against what is, in effect, the live data. And for any type of data, non-Oracle data, what you have is a point-in-time consistent copy, which you can do what you like with later on. Using snapshots is extremely easy. Just one command to create the snapshot. In the current release, you can have over a thousand snapshots per file system. When you create it, it is by default read-only, but you can create it as writable, or you can change the mode of the snapshot between read-only and read-write at any stage later on. You can monitor the space usage. The snapshot themselves are visible in the directory, a hidden directory, .acfs slash snaps. That directory is there. You can go to it if you know where to go, but it's invisible to Unix utilities. So uh, commands such as a recursive ls listing, a recursive copy, will not descend into the snapshot directory. Then when you're through with the snapshot, remove it which is pretty much an instantaneous process. To create a snapshot, as ever, it's the ACFS util utility. Snap create. Give the snapshot a name, nominate the file system which you want the snapshot to be made of. And it's instantaneous. If we look at the file system, we see no change. But in fact, there is a hidden directory there, dot acfs. And in that directory, we see two more directories. Those are the ones used for replication, if you're enabling it. But this is where the snapshots reside. And there's the snapshot I just created. So that is my reconsistent copy of the file system the complete directory tree of the file system as of the time I created it. So if I do some changes to the live data, well, my live file system has these files within it. And I can simply delete them with RM. And they are gone. However, if I navigate down into the snapshots, there they are. It's that simple. Note that by default, if I try to do any changes to the content of the snapshot, say I try to delete my file, you can't do it. Even as root and the owner of the file I can't get into it, unless I choose to change the nature of the snapshot. For example, acfsutil snap convert, and I'm making my snap writable, like so. And now, if I want to, 
I certainly can do anything I wish to that file. For example, just do a simple edit. And that now succeeds. When I'm through with the snapshot, I get rid of it just with ACFS util snap delete. Gone. To conclude, the encryption and snapshotting capability. They apply to any sort of data, both Oracle databases and any third party products. The use of encryption snapshots are completely transparent to your software. And as I demonstrated, all these things work together. I demonstrated snapshotting on a file system that already had encryption enabled. They are also, in the current release, compatible with ACFS replication. Very powerful capabilities indeed, especially when you add them all together.